Hey guys, what's up? It's Richard here, the Mine Hacker, here for another video on the daily mine fuel or the nightly mine fuel as it is today. Whoa, mad shakies with the camera. Sorry, guys. So, today, guys, I want to talk about something interesting that I was thinking about. Something that kind of captured my mind here when I was sitting here just chilling out with some friends at Bali, Komun Bali. But I thought about what's dangerous. Because right, it's night time, it gets pretty dangerous sometimes, and sometimes we get, we enter dangerous situations in our minds, and we don't even prepare for it. We don't even know how to actually get ready for it. How do we actually? What is the danger signs sometimes? You know, if I ask you a question, you know, how do you know when you're getting your mind into a danger zone? Yeah, because this is the thing. This is the thing that I learned in one of my uh, mentors told me. Right, Harv Eker, T. Harv Eker. If you ever heard of him, he said this to me, and this is what's always stuck with me: is you know, the three most dangerous words you can ever say to yourself are these. You know, I know that. I'll say it again: the three most dangerous words you ever hear yourself saying is "I know that." See, why is it dangerous? It's dangerous because when you say "I know that," you switch off. When you say "I know that," You no longer, no longer are present. When you say, I know that, you ignore what everything else is happening around you. See, so when your friend's trying to tell you something new that they've learned, and then you go, oh, I know that, yeah? But then if you really knew it, yeah? This is what's interesting. If you really knew it, then you would have taken action somehow, some way on it. Especially when it comes to actually, you know, whether it be in the gym, whether it be in diet, whether it be in relationships, whether it be with, you know, um, money right in business really if you knew that then how come you're not applying it you know if you knew that then you're just wasting all this energy on there but it's the most dangerous thing you ever say to yourself because when you say i know that you close yourself away from more opportunities because when you think you know something that is the most dangerous point because you then actually realize you don't know it you don't know it at all and then that's how you get complacent that's how you fall over yourself and then that's how you make yourself look like an absolute fool so guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today. The most dangerous three words you could ever say to yourself. I know that. So, question of the day, question of the night. You hear that? I think that's like a frog or something up there, right? Clicking, right? Question of the night is, how are you gonna avoid saying the dangerous words that are keeping you back? I know that. How can you avoid saying, I know that? Right? And if I'm going to give you one tip here to avoid that, is always bring the beginner's mind. Always believe that there's something new to learn. Believe that even if you know how to get to wherever you want to get to, even if you know what it is that person's talking about, there's always a new perspective. There's always a new learning. There's always something to learn in everything. That's what you see in my videos. If the most, most random topics even, there's something to learn about everything. Everything you experience, you can learn something in it. It's just whether you're ready to bring that inquisitive, that curious, that open understanding into your life. So guys, this is Richard here. Of course, if you love this, share it on. Hit like, hit comments, type it in. You know, what are, how are you going to avoid the dangerous words in your life today? So guys, go out there, go live with love, and go smash it. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. So you gotta find the right balance and um, it's something I've been thinking a lot about and over the last year in 2015 yeah. um, what I focused a lot on was productivity, was on time management. I went to find out how do I find the right balance of chill and work yeah. and that's what I talk about. So um, I have a 